What does it take for an unlimited hydroplane to go 200 miles per hour during a race? Lots of work during the off-season. That is exactly what is happening at the Unlimited Racing Group's shop near Seattle, Washington, home of the U11 Peters and May. In this episode, we learn about bull noses. This off-season, the U11 Peters and May race team has been pondering how to get more speed coming out of the turn. How can we get the boat to accelerate off the corner, to produce more speed in, in that area of the race course? That's where we're, we've been really lacking. And uh, one of the areas we understand uh, as a weakness is, is we want to free up the boat a little bit. Not a whole bunch. We don't, we don't want to free it up so much that it's going to fly away. These are a, an adjustable shape we use on the boat called a bull nose. And we're in a process right now of, of building uh, some new different shapes to, to help free the boat up. The bull nose is the leading edge wing shape that is replaceable. It controls how much air is rammed under the race boat. Too little air and the boat sticks to the water. Too much air and the boat can blow over. Also notice that the two sides are different lengths. This is to keep from packing too much air under the right sponson heading into the turns. The team starts with laying up carbon fiber into custom molds. Next, the bull nose was removed and cleaned up. The boat is then used as a mold for creating the external flanges that conform to the boat. Tape is put onto the boat. Then carbon fiber strips are impregnated with glue. And then applied to the tape. The bull nose is then added. After the bull nose cures, it is removed, sanded, puttied, and painted. The new shape is then race ready and can be attached to the boat. The Peters and May race team continues to get ready for the 2016 Unlimited Hydroplane race season. Watch for the next episode.